Hi guys, I wanted to come on tonight and I wanted to talk about something that nobody else is talking about. Um, and that is the results that many people are getting from the magic wand that are not the one hit wonders. They are not the results that are instant pain relief, completely better, skin's cleared up, all my illnesses have gone my eyebrows have gone back to brown, my eyesight's improved. Like those people are getting instant results and there are a lot of those people, okay? What I want to talk about is my experience of healing, of spending the last 20 plus years on my own healing journey, and we've all been through trauma. We've all been through lifetimes of trauma. We're all here going through our own spiritual journeys. And some of us came in with massive challenges. Some of us came in with a lot of trauma that, that came to us, maybe as, as children, or for in my case, I went through a horror story when I was 25 and lost my husband to cancer. My baby was in a on a life support machine at seven weeks old. My husband was suddenly put on chemotherapy after being misdiagnosed with five doctors. My three and a half year old was just handed to anyone that would take him. I was trying to keep my breast milk going throughout the night, walking down the corridors of a Victorian hospital trying to keep my breast milk going so that if my baby did make it, which I prayed to God he would, and he did, that I would be able to feed him my breast milk. And those times were the darkest times of my life, but those times were what put me onto my journey, if you like. Then it was rock and roll for many years after that. I met my second husband, it was rock and roll. It was partying, it was caring for my children, it was running live music venues, but it wasn't till that marriage ended 12 years later that I really started to look at, okay, I need a more balanced life, I need a more balanced relationship. I had a relationship then for, for five or six years, but it really wasn't until after that and another relationship that I just really began my own personal healing journey. I was teaching on detox retreats throughout the world, particularly in Thailand. I was watching people going onto these detoxes. They were coming out of intense jobs in, in uh, Malaysia and China, Japan, America. They were coming to Thailand to have a one or two or three or four week retreat where they would just detox their body. And then they were going back to work, back into what they had come from. And they would come back every year. And I realized also from doing my one-to-one -one clients in Pilates and yoga uh, 30 years ago that it wasn't, I realized it wasn't the thing that was the thing. It was always something deeper, always something underlying. And so my journey to healing has been a long journey and it has involved not just the physical, not just the the mental, where I'm going in to my, you know, to, to remembering what I've been through and allowing myself to feel the, the feelings and the emotions, but also a very, very, very deeply spiritual process. And one of the big things I learned was actually was how to feel my feelings, because I didn't know that for many years, I was told in therapy that I needed to feel my feelings, but I didn't know how to do that. And because the emotional body is so attached, it's not any different to the physical body. It's all it's all one body. Because there is no separation between the mind, the body and the emotions, very often we have to look at the emotional body. Now, I'm just going to give you some examples because I want to bring this and talk about the, the magic wand just fairly briefly. So I'll give you an example. When I first went to... Um, a specialist, a healer in Harley Street about over 20 years ago, I was told that if I drank green juices every day and juiced my green juices, my cucumber, my celery, 
and all my green stuff. If I drank that every day for three months after I'd had a horrific live and dried blood test, it was so bad. This blood test was just so, so bad. But she said, if you drink this green juice every day for three months, you'll come back. And it will be completely different. You will be a different person. You won't recognize yourself. Like everything will be different. And I did this religiously for three months. And I went back to Harley Street for my test. And she was quite shocked that my blood was not very changed. And she actually said to me, this doesn't happen. That people get changed. They get transformed after three months. And she said to me, you have got some really deep cellular issues going on, like really, really deep stuff. And I remember thinking, God, it would be me, wouldn't it? <laughs> and I then went on a, a, a 20 year journey of very often going to, to different specialists and different healers and naturopaths where I would have the latest tests done, you know, the bio stuff done and and every time I went, and these were were not cheap, um, these were not cheap things to, to to have done. You know, investigations like this that are private, they they cost money. But my health was always my number one most important thing. Having seen my husband dying at twenty five, um, and having seen what my baby went through, and knowing the emotional turmoil I was in throughout that pregnancy and how I was chain smoking through that pregnancy, given even that my doctor was saying to me, you're probably better off smoking because that's probably better for you than the stress you're going through. Um, given all of that that I had been through, I really was not having good results for any of these tests I was having. I was spending money. I was really wanting my health to be good. I was trying to change my diet, but I could never change it long enough to make an impact. I was always coming back to sugar. And when I say sugar, I include carbs in that, you know, I include carbs as sugar. And I would have these tests with all these people and it was always the same response. Wow, this is a really bad result. This is really not good. And I would go away thinking, I don't know if I can do this, but but I had that desire and that longing to, to beat it, to, to, to break through it. I thought, well, if other people can do it, so can I. And, you know, and I used to think, well, my lifestyle is quite healthy. I practice yoga and Pilates and I do green juices and, you know, I do all these things, but it seems like on a deep cellular level, my health isn't good. And I really, 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 really worked hard to try and change my, uh, the chemistry in my body. You know, my profile was not good. And it was only about three years ago when I was about 58 that I had a test with a very good friend of mine who's got an amazing, one of these bioresonance machines and she'd done me several tests over the years prior to that. And, and this particular test, because I'd had dreadful results with her and other people before her, this particular result, she finally said, wow, this, this is an amazing result. And I just burst into tears. I, I couldn't believe it. I was I, I hugged her and I and I just said, I, 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 this is one of the best days of my life. Like I finally had a result. And I never worked out why it was so hard for me, but it's where my passion for for health and for natural health has come from. This, this drive in me to constantly want to improve my health. I had chronic fatigue and PSTD for 15 years on and off after my first husband died. I knew what it felt like to be absolutely burnt out burnt out where I was bedridden where the very worst time was when I did not know where the energy was coming from for the next inhale like if anyone has not had PSTD or adrenal burnout you won't really get it it's not being really tired it's not being really exhausted it's that times a million it's like you don't know how 
you can get through into the next moment because the exhaustion is overwhelming. And uh, anyone who has chronic fatigue or PSTD or all of the other host of names that it gets called adrenal burnout, my heart goes out to you, but you can beat it. You can overcome it, but it's a very personal journey. Okay. It's a really, really personal journey. So what the other thing I wanted to say was when I first started taking CBD oil about four years ago, everyone was saying, start off with two or three drops under your tongue, you know, it'd be fine and increase. Well, I took two drops and this is no lie. This was CBD oil with no THC in it. I got stoned. Nobody believed me. I had to go through Google for, for days and days and days to find out that a very minute proportion of the population can get high on CBD. It's very, very unusual. I was one of those people. So bringing this back now in relation to the magic wand, what I want to say to you is that this terahertz frequency is absolutely revolutionary breakthrough quantum healing and it is doing the most incredible job there are lots and lots and lots of videos of how to use it you can use it on your meridians through your chakras on pain it is doing miracles for so many people but i want to speak to those of you who are using it and who haven't had your wow let me tell you something if you are one of those people that haven't had your wow, please know that you may be either very sensitive, you may be very toxic, you may be very all sorts of things. We are all made up of so much mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, okay? When I teach Pilates, the ideal way to teach Pilates is one-on-one, -on -one, where you are working individually because every single body is unique. Every body is different. You can never prescribe the same for everybody. Every single body is different. But one thing I will say, if you go and do Pilates with a physiotherapist, what they will probably do is they will work specifically on an area so let's say that you've got a let's say that you've got a, a, a broken ankle okay and you go off to a physiotherapist let me show you this bit of paper okay so that's your body you're a bit screwed up right you've had lots of emotions going on you've had you've had a traumatic childhood um you know you've had a divorce you, you you've lost your job like that's you <laughs> just screwed up and messed up okay now, and this is not a, a bash against physiotherapists because some physiotherapists really work with fascia and they know what they're doing. But I'm talking about my experience of, uh, uh, you know, Pilates and with some physiotherapists. I, I'm going to use this as an example, but a physiotherapist tends to go into the problem. So let's say that's your broken ankle. The, the physiotherapist will tend to go into the broken ankle and do all the exercises for the ankle, okay? The way that I worked with Pilates and the way that people who work with fascia will work, they won't go into the problem, all right? What we would do is we would take the body and we would take all the ends of the body and we would create expansion so that by default, the problem is sorted out, okay? The same goes, and I've used this analogy before, the same goes with my hand, okay? If I want to uh, find that little pelvic floor in my hand energy moving up and I get you to flatten your hand on, on on a surface okay and I say to you right I want you to flatten your hand out so that you've got that little lift in your in your instep in your in your hand okay and I want you to flatten the whole surface against the floor the only way you can really find the true lift is by expanding your hand like the more that you can expand your hand the higher by default that lift, that arch will happen, which I call a little pelvic floor. Now, the same goes for healing. Not everybody who gets an instant hit from the magic wand is going to be, it doesn't mean that they're going to be healthier. 
and get better results in the bigger scheme of life than the one who is wanding every day, drinking the water, not overdoing it, please not overdoing it. I can't do it very long. I get a healing crisis if I go too long, okay? You've got to listen to your own body. And if you come back to my analogy of, of this, it's really, really important that if you really are on a healing journey, that you remember it is not just one thing. And I know we all say this, but what you eat, what you put inside your body is really, really important. On a side note, when I got my amazing result from my naturopath three years ago, I was on a ketogenic diet. I had got rid of my sugar cravings. I had cut out sugar and it was the only way I could do it because I felt full and satiated without carbs. Okay. But I won't talk about that here, but that was how I did it in the end. And that's what worked for me. All right. So what we put in our mouths is really, really important. If you're wanding and trying to heal and your pain has gone, but you're still drinking every night and you're still smoking and you're not getting any exercise and you're not getting any fresh air and you're not working, walking bare feet on the earth and your posture is so bad that you can't get a full inhalation, that wanding is going to be limited to maybe those aha, wow, pain's gone but long term holistically and on every level you may not get the same health benefits as the one who is not getting that sudden oh my god I feel amazing I feel alive you've got to work with your own body you've got to be patient and you've got to really look at what you're doing in your life for your health and that includes your mental health big time. It includes your emotional health big time. And based on all of this, I have decided to offer a initially one month portal for anyone to come in for a daily practice, small practice of mind, body, emotion spirit support to support you on your healing journey from every aspect because this is what I have been working on and studying and teaching for my whole life my whole working life well since I had kids which was my mid-20s I have been working in this field of mind body and spirit and what happened to me was I was somebody who was always told that I looked like I'd had a hard life and I looked old for my age. And I have reversed that. I have reversed that incredibly. And I know that at the moment, many people are starting to look younger because of how our light bodies are becoming more light. We are being supported at the moment through the energies that are coming through, okay, we are actually, as we are expanding our consciousness, we are accessing more light. More light is coming into our bodies. Our bodies are becoming more light. We need these practices. We need to look at what we're eating. We need to look at what we're thinking. We need to look at our emotions. We need to know how to choose 5D Christ consciousness over the density of third dimension. So your magic wand is part of a toolkit that is an incredible device. It is the best device I have ever known in my life. It's always also the best business model I have ever known in my life because I am sharing this with so many people who are getting so many amazing results but I really wanted to come on and talk to those people who may be thinking I haven't had the results like so-and-so or so-and-so. And this is what we need to talk about. This is what you need to know is that this journey is a sacred journey back to self and that you've got to do it the way that your body is asking you 
to do this journey. Your unique blueprint, your unique soul print is letting you know you are working together with your with your intuition okay your inner knowing you know what you need to do and it's quite possibly to slow down notice your mind saying i want to get better which i did with my chronic fatigue for 15 years i was so determined to get better and it wasn't until I surrendered to it that I finally started to get better. Because actually I was really high vibe. I was in a good mood. I was doing sponsored workouts. And then I would just crash and I'd be out for months. It was a long, tough, hard journey for me. When I was 35, I looked 55. I have reversed it. And I want to help you to do that too. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, and please take in what I've said. If you are somebody who is just getting a little bit frustrated with hearing all the instant, you know, the instant relief, the instant results, please know that you are also getting the results, but just in a different way. Allow yourself to be supported, reach out for help. And if you want to come and join me, from October for a whole month for a portal of creating a container with others who are really invested in taking the steps needed to support us as we go through this ascension. Massive love um, and see you soon. Bye for now.